when he went to Clermont, he had his own business that he let me look after, which I made an absolute disaster of. <laughs> so, you know these 20p minstrel machines that you used to get at the cinema and the, the skittles yeah. and like all that? So he had a load of these dotted about Leicestershire at Loughborough Uni. And all, all I had to do, right? All you I, were in charge. Of I was in charge. Operations. I was in charge, yeah, of course. I was like tipping him over his head into his mouth. That's exactly what I was doing. All I had to do was go to the wholesalers, hand over the money, show them the card, buy these sweets, put the key, open it up and tip the sweets into them, take the money, count it up and take it to the bank and basically it couldn't have gone any worse. As you say, the product, <laughs> so I'm taking the boys, all the products getting eaten, so obviously by the time you get there, you, you fill in the machines, meant to be full, they're a quarter full, taking out the money, obviously half the money's gone, I don't know where, I think it was just, I think the counting situation was wrong. Went to Loughborough Uni, <laughs> some of the machines have been ripped out, and Cox has come back from France, he's like, how's the business gone? I was like, I've not seen their machines in about a year. So, yeah, so he wasn't too happy with me. But, you no, know, he looked after us, he was a great coach. Uh, he had a great way with the guys. He was all about, you know, you work hard, speak to people straight, tell them what they want, and, yeah, and you'll be successful. Biggest biggest influence in your career, Richard Cockrum, from a coaching point of view? I'd say him and Dean Richards, I think definitely. Um, yeah, just the way that they were. They were just straight up guys that had been there and done it. Again, c could probably see a little bit of myself in them and vice versa. Not overly gifted, just worked hard to get where they were. You know, Cox has got the small man syndrome, hasn't he? Just, you know, he's always <laughs> had that. We saw that during the anthem against uh, New Zealand where he's walked out against his opposite man, the small man syndrome. Uh, but yeah, I think I think think then they gave my first opportunity at Leicester, and I think anyone who gives you a first opportunity and, and the platform, and, and for me personally, the platform for me to go and, and do what I've done, yeah, I speak highly of them.